Hey everybody, what's up? It's Ryan Groose from The Loop Loft. And in this video, we're gonna talk about layering your acoustic multi-track drums uh, with some electronic sounds, just to kind of totally change up the vibe of your track and uh, maybe take things in a different direction. Um, you can do this with any multi-track session, whether you record it yourself or you happen to buy it from The Loop Loft. Um, this example we're listening to and looking at today comes from our Complete Takes Volume 1 series and is uh, called Straight Indie Pop, which you can hear it's a very straightforward kind of indie rock groove, um, natural drum sounds, not very produced, just kind of um, for some pretty solid pocket rock drumming. Um, so what we're gonna do is find a small section of the song and just kind of zero in on auditioning some samples and layering them with just the kick and snare for today. Um, and see what we can do with this track to change up the vibe. Um, so what I'm gonna do is loop a certain section. So just kick and snare, um, and that's what we wanna zero in on. Um, some floor tom too, but uh, in the sake of time. Kick and snare samples for now. Um, I'm going to use, in the track menu of Logic, uh, the drum replacement and doubling option. Um, but if you're using Pro Tools or Ableton, uh, there's a bunch of other plugins that do this exact same thing. Drumagog, Steven Slate, uh, just Google it, you'll, you'll find a bunch of other options if, if you're using some other software. Um, so to quickly get started, um, I'm going to solo the kick along with myself. And um, you'll see that I set a noise gate as well on the kick, which if I bypass it, you can hear everything, the snare bleed and everything, which is totally cool and normal with a multi-track um, drum session. But since we're gonna mix this with samples, I wanted to set a gate so it kind of decayed and got out of the way quickly and would match up and blend better with the sample. So that's the story behind the gate. Um, and to start auditioning samples, what you do is you have the track selected, like we do now, uh, go to the track menu, drum replacement and doubling. And you'll see it just opened up a new track. Um, it's actually looking in the snare folder, so we need to change that to the kick. Um, and over here on the right, you'll see all the different, uh, in the Logic sample library, different options of sounds to check out. So now I'm just gonna solo the channel two, which is the electronic sample uh, channel and just audition a few of these electronic kicks. So give it a listen. That's definitely got some low end to it. Nah, not sure about that one. And again, I mean, I could sample thousands of kicks all day, uh, but in the interest of time, I'm gonna try to find one that pairs well. It's kind of a nice one. Still has a little bit of an acoustic vibe to it, but it has that really pointy electronic sample. Uh, bite to it. So let's mix that in and solo the uh, acoustic kick too. And that's nice. So you get the roundness of the acoustic and the point of the sample. So cool, I'm gonna say okay. And Logic tends to bring the faders back to 0 dB. Um, hopefully they'll fix that with Logic 10. Loop this again and solo these two, and then bring them all in together. Cool, so that's a good start. Now we're gonna do the same with the snare track. So I'm gonna highlight the snare track, solo my mic and the snare so you can still hear me. Um, select the track option, start with drum replacement doubling, that opens up. It still thinks it's on kick, so I'm going to switch that to the snare folder. And if we look over here on the right in our menu, we'll see a list of a bunch of electronic snare samples. So let's take a quick listen to some of these different electronic snare samples. A little too bitey, a little too reverby, reverby for me, a little too distorted. Gunshotty. I'm thinking something that has a little low end 
that'll add a little more punch to the uh, acoustic sample. That one actually might be kind of cool. Uh, it's kind of got a gated vibe to it. Um, and again, we did the same gate on the acoustic snare. So let's listen to those together. And the whole kit together. Cool, so pretty good. So just using those two, I'm going to say OK. And again, it goes back to 0 dB. You've got to bring that back down to where it was. And let's loop that section again just so we can check out the whole scene. Definitely a lot more punch in the mix just from adding in those two samples. Uh, if we take it out, you'll definitely notice something kind of missing now. So that's without. And that's with. So it just adds a little extra, you know, dimension to, to your drum sound. Um, again, you could take this more extreme and really, you know, crank up the samples. Again, you want to be musical and, and have some restraint. Um, but there's all kinds of different ways you could experiment with putting effects on the samples um, and just taking your production into a completely different direction. So uh, trying to keep this as, as a short video today, but um, hopefully this gives you some ideas um, for incorporating samples into your acoustic live drum performances and uh, just changing up your production style a bit. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them here on the blog or here on YouTube, wherever you happen to be watching this. And uh, until next time, we'll see you again soon. Thanks a lot, guys. See ya.